Hello, responsible day traders. It is Tuesday, December the 3rd, 2019, and I'm Lindsay Duff. Um, I feel like a new person. I don't know if you can see it in my face, but I'm feeling pretty great. I've spent a lot of days playing catch up, uh, doing homework for my students and making sure they're ready and all my ducks are in a row. What I would like to do now is go check out the market. So I do have a doctor's appointment at 10.15, so i got about an hour, um, hour and a half at most to spend with it. So let's check it out. I had my charts like this with the 6.10 and the 41.81, just as I was kind of peeking through yesterday because we were stuck between areas. Let me change these out real, real quick. All right, I did a little bit of switching around. So now we've got the 10.946 and the 2.33 sitting here. So let's see what's going on. Uh, we've got the ability to push up here, but really we're in a strong downward movement. I want to think about the short, but this is really giving me long potentials. So I'm not going to be too jumpy on them, I guess you could say. I'm actually going to take that off in a moment. Um, I did actually trade two or one trade yesterday and I'll bring it up. Um, I started a video. I just, uh, just had so much going on. I didn't, um, trade anything after. So I took one trade <laughs> right here and got one point in total. So woo, what a way to come back, right? It's a strong comeback. <laughs> This is why I didn't want to get too excited about the longs. We've got a lower pivot here. It's trying to push back down. We still have a lot of strength down on our 10,946. All right, I'm gonna try and catch one of these shorts here. It may keep going up. Yeah, hold on. Paying attention. Ooh, take me out. Just gonna go two ticks behind that little bar, which may get me taken out the way this is rolling back. Yeah, okay. Felt like I was chasing that puppy. Ooh, it's moving so fast, it's hard to grab. Or maybe I'm just out of um, practice a little bit. <laughs> it sure does look like it wants to keep popping up, doesn't it? up just a little bit and we're gonna take it again that's it right here take me there we go hopefully this goes This one off a bit. Sure is a fight of whether it's going to keep going down or go up from here, right? bit more I'm gonna close that that's gonna pop back watching these Mac D's Ooh, this 
this will make him and get me. Let's watch. Really need my wrist back above here, but it's all right. I really want to move this to a break even since it's gotten so close. Okay. Pull this one off. Okay, there we go. closer each time. I'm going to go ahead and take this out the way this is popping up here. Oh, psh. I was watching, I was getting too intense on the 233 and not paying attention to the um, 1597 MACDs, which definitely told me more down. So... Got out of that one a little bit early. see here as it's reaching this low it's giving these reversal bars it's popping back up here so it's a little bit of an early exit but I mean let's look at this reversal bars to push up here Woo! I love when it moves like this guys we haven't seen this stuff in a long time Wow otherwise it's snoozing through I mean, what are we, 20 minutes in? Yeah. Mm. It's hard to think about taking the longs. just came to a complete stop okay nope. <laughs> people are trying to make up their minds are we gonna push this down further oh you know what we didn't even do today we didn't even look at the daily chart because I looked at it earlier and I forgot to bring it up holy moly so this is a theme right when it goes up it crawls the whole way up when it comes down it comes down with the thunder Wow I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not even going to candy coat it. I would love to see breaking back below these EMAs and giving us a lot of areas to play with down here. It's almost like a metaphor for life. Struggle on the way up, fall down quickly. Why is this key? Okay. I must have, I must have lost internet for a moment. Let's see. Woo! Ten and a quarter. All right. Well, that may be where we stopped the day today. Right, well, let me see. Let me see if I can pull off one more. Oh, this is definitely giving us some long potential. Look how much distance we've created between these EMAs and the divergence. There's divergence on our 41.8. Let me just pull over the 41.81 and look at that. You know, if you use these gradient BBs, the way that they've turned really, really bright green and we're leading higher, even though we've got the lower pivot. So major divergence. We've seen a little bit of divergence right in here. But this is a first uh, big one that's happening on the 4181. I really had all my trading done within the first 20 minutes of the day. I saw reasons for the longs here, reasons for the shorts here. Um, definitely saw the reason for the long here, here, and here. Just um, have started separating my mind from what's going on. Um, and let me go ahead and uh, mark these up. Uh, let me do it. Yeah, this will be fine. Let me do it on the 610, actually. So, one, two, three uh, trades today. Went a little early on the short. All wins. Not even, um, let's see, point and a half, a tick, two points, 1.75, two points, 2.75. 
Okay, so that's 10 and a quarter done in 15 minutes. Let's see. So we're gonna do plus 1.5. All right, guys. We're gonna call that a day. I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger so we can read it easily whenever I post it. Oh, and don't forget, I did take one trade yesterday. Oh, there it is. <laughs> a whole whopping one point for the two uh, exits. And uh, I won't add that to today's profits, but I don't want you to think that I'm trading and not telling you about it. I just didn't feel the need to post about a point <laughs> yesterday. And uh, it was... It was a long day for me, so, um, you know, just getting back into the swing of things and making sure your mind is in the right place. Y'all, I definitely, definitely feel like a new woman, okay? So I would have never imagined that a gallbladder could have made me so um, fuzzy in the head. Could have made me so uh, exhausted. <sighs> I haven't really had any problems. You just really have to be careful about what you eat. You gotta scale back on the fat, which is not a bad thing in any way, shape, or form. I did scale up on the sugar when I scaled down on the fat, but we're just gonna kind of meet in the middle and uh, I'm gonna work to get the sugar out of my life and definitely be more aware in what I'm putting in when it comes to fat. So we're gonna move it along. I'm gonna go to the doctor. I made a post yesterday and let me bring this up. I am reading a book right now. I'm reading a couple of books. Um, right now, uh, high performance habits. I have tons of notes that I've been taking, um, in my high performance habits. And I'm also a massive highlighter. So <laughs> I really plan on taking some of the quotes from here and, uh, creating some fun things around them. Um, there's a lot that I believe has to do with our mindset with trading, like, um, you know, making sure you have clarity, energy, raise the necessity, increase, increase productivity, develop influence and demonstrate courage. And I believe a good majority of those have to do with becoming a better day trader, maybe not necessarily developing influence, but you know, um, there are quite a few things that I can, I read through this and I'm like, man, all my traders should definitely be in the know with this book. Guys, this book is free online. Um, you just pay for shipping. I did buy the journal that went with it, which I have not touched. I'm great at buying, um, great at buying journals and calendars terrible at filling them out. <laughs> so, um, I have some beautiful ones that have nothing in them. So I'm working on that as well. I've actually got some tabs on some things that I've written so I can remind myself to come back to them and look at them. Uh, I'm also thinking about putting together a webinar uh, for y'all to just kind of go through some of the necessities we need as a day trader. Uh, well, as we need to be a responsible day trader, thinking about things like patterns, uh, stop placement, all those kind of things. But uh, we'll get a little bit more in depth with that. And if you're interested in a webinar, if you'll even watch through to the end of this, definitely let me know. You know, if it's just one person in there with me, it's just one person in there with me. We'll work together and get what you need done. And so, um, I like to work with one person the same way I work with a hundred people. And that is to give you my all and help you see that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So with that being said, we're going to wrap it up and call it a day. And uh, I hope everybody has a fabulous Tuesday. Feels wonderful. Definitely take care of yourselves because it is important to mental clarity, guys. And as always, you know, I look forward to catching you on the profitable side.